What's up guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. I wish I could growl like that. What is up guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Torment's Guitars and Basses. I'll be dropping the whole playlist in the description box down below just in case you're new around here. I'm just taking famous songs and trying to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. So I'm sure your favorite song's already been covered, but if not, please let me know in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I can. And while you're down there, if you can consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel, that would be phenomenal. Thank you very much in advance. And with that said, let's start with today's episode, which is Bleak by Opeth. <laughs> We are coming up on the 20th anniversary of the album Blackwater Park by Opeth, and this is just a mindful of extremely massive sounding great guitar riffs, and I won't even dive into vocals or keyboards or just anything else that makes Opeth such a legendary band. But today I'm gonna to be focusing on the intro riff of the song Bleak. There isn't much information as to what exact gear Mikhail used in the studio for that album, except for the guitar, which he precisely stated that it was the first album he used a PRS on. So consequently, I'm gonna be using that PRS SE custom guitar. It's not mandatory, it's just really pretty, so I wanted to go for that one. That said, I think if you have any sort of guitar with um, mid to high output humbuckers, and namely in the bridge position for that riff, you should be just fine. But that's gonna be my guitar for the day. Now let's have a look at our amp and pedal setup. And this is where it gets a little bit more uncertain because Although we have a lot of live footage where we clearly see a lot of Laney amps on the stage, I couldn't say for sure that this is what was used in the studio. But it is that classic British Marshall Laney sort of vibe going on, very pushed, obviously. It's a high gain sound that we're looking for. If you guys know exactly what amp was used on that song, on that recording uh, by Mikhail, please do let me know in the comments. But today I'm gonna be running with my classic JCM 800 lead series combo. The controls will be on your screen and I'll be pushing it uh, with the JHS Bonsai Tube Screamer. Again, none of that is mandatory. I think if you have any sort of Laney or any sort of JCM inspired amp, uh, you will be just fine. And Tube Screamer, you know, whichever fits green, it works. Usually don't push the drive, use the volume knob to push in front of your amp. Be mindful of the tone because, and mostly for Opeth, we have that massive growly guitar sound and you don't want it to be like too trebly or too ice speaky or anything. But I'm using it in the TS-808 mode, the classic Tube Screamer, and this is my sound. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's got the right amount of bite, but still being massive in the low mids and low end of the spectrum. You don't want something that's too incisive because it's prog to, I'm, I'm not gonna make friends on that one, but you don't wanna go like too modern prog metal on that sound. It doesn't need to be too sharp. You want the big sound more than just the very precise sound. I also forgot to mention that obviously uh, they're now using Synergy amplifiers with different rack modules. This is what Synergy does. And these are absolutely awesome. If you're on precise references, I think they're using the Friedman Dirty Shirley module for uh, the low to mid gain sort of stuff and the Soldano module for high gain. Everything will be linked in the description box down below anyways with some more recommendations at different price points. If your gear does not Cut it. And on that, let's jump onto the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And let's start with talking about tuning because obviously when you hear that kind of sound, that kind of, you, you hear of Opeth and 
everything that's associated with them, you'd expect some sort of lower tuning. But no, it's actually an E standard, so you don't have to detune your guitar or anything, just leave it where it is, and we're gonna start by having a look at our fretting hand. There's definitely a lot of room for hit or miss on that riff because there's so many versions of it at the same time. I really try to base that one off of the records where you have maybe a little bit fewer hammer-on pull-offs than you'd have on some of the live versions. It's going pretty fast, so it's definitely not your beginner guitar player kind of riff. I'd suggest going back to some more simpler stuff because, before coming back to this one because it's definitely worth learning. But I do think that the hardest part of that riff resides in the picking hand. So let's have a look and we'll talk about it in a minute. So yeah, what I mean by hardest part is that there's a lot of of notes ringing and then going into pull muting because you do want to put some accents on the melody that you're playing and not so much on the E string still ringing and then going on to that full pull mute to wrap up the riff. It's gonna take a lot of control on the picking side. It's not something that is so consistent live either. Sometimes it's just like full on open string and ring throughout. It's also going to depend on your gain structure, obviously. You don't want to push too much on the gain to have an incredible amount of noise everywhere and just that E string ringing gonna take over the melody that you're playing. So it's a fine balance and I think most of it is going to reside in the control that you have on your picking. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Bleak by Opeth. As usual, I hope you appreciated that video and that maybe you learned that song, you learned of that song and had fun doing it. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which song you'd like to see me cover next. And in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone.